Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special video for you because we are riding the most dangerous, the most challenging, the most epic road in Georgia, the infamous Abano Pass. 70 kilometers of gravel, rock, mud and water crossings. Snaking its way up mountains that rise to over 2,800 meters, this is the highest drivable pass in the Greater Caucasus and surely deserves a space on every adventure rider's bucket list. Stick around to the end as we push ourselves and the bikes to the very limit to try to reach a camp with incredible 360 degree panoramic views. Packing away because we are going to the Albano Pass. Oh, you're filming and I show my best side. Yeah, we just get ready for the Albano Pass. Yeah. And reduce our weight as much as we can. Ready. See you in a bit. All right. Really nice little camp, perfect little spot. Today is a big day that we've been waiting for in Georgia for a few weeks now, for a good time when there's no rain. Lucy, what are we doing today? We're gonna tackle the Urbano Pass. The Urbano Pass. If you're an adventure rider and you're here in Georgia, you're riding the Urbano Pass. Oh yeah. So we're going straight up, one road, all the way up the valley to Amalo. This way. Yeah, but first, we're gonna stop at this little guest house for some lunch. And we're gonna leave some of our luggage here so that the bikes have less weight on them for this pass. A big, big lunch of chinchali and salad and bread and cheese before we go up here to Abano. Now we really are ready for the Abano. We're full to here of Kinkhali and Tchmale. And salad and goodness. We've dropped our bags off. We've dropped off some other baggage as well. Uh -huh. Now it's what? really time to go to the Abano. <laughs> yeah. See you in two days. Bye -bye. All right, let's do it. Let's go. We're ready for anything. All right, the road has officially ended. We're on the off-road <laughs> for the next um, mm, 70 kilometers. And we're meeting by cows. And immediately cows. <laughs> immediately some water. <laughs> So we're riding this in mid-August. There was some rain a couple of days ago, I think quite a lot of rain, but it's had a good day of sunny weather to dry out properly. And as you can see, the road is already very dry. Well, we've done at least five kilometers already, I think. The road has been much like this. Gravel, hard pack, some potholes, but mostly it's okay. So these are the sort of random little wet bits. A bit slippery and muddy, but yeah, okay. So when we get to these tight corners like this, it's when Luce and I really start having to work together. Standing up is easier for us, going up and round tight corners. How do you feel, Luce? Feeling good. Yeah. More wet bits here, again, where the streams and things are crossing the road. Yeah, it's getting harder here. Some tough bits. Big corner coming up. Corner coming up. Harder for us means steeper and usually bigger rocks and of course anywhere where it's also wet makes it that little bit harder again for the tires to find grip. It's much easier when we stand up to keep our balance. Yes. We we can use our legs. And let the bike move around underneath us. When you slow down too much it makes it even harder to, <laughs> to stay on a straight track. Shit. Connie, so keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, that was a tough bit, but we did it. Go on, girls. Yeah, definitely better to go this way, Matt. Let me move out your way. Oh. Look out. That was deep. That's a big waterfall. So the higher we go, the harder it gets. But there's also these random paved bits, which are a nice rest from 
the difficult section. We're going to get wet ahead. <laughs> Good, I need to cool down. <laughs> <laughs> Above the tree line now, so we get the views. Look at the valley, look at the mountain. It looks amazing, and the road has got much easier now, it's much smoother and harder. We're <laughs> <laughs> searing up and down this bit of the road. I've got some airtime at the back here. That's where we're going. Zig zagging up there. Look how cool it is. Okay, now we are coming into the clouds. We've climbed very high winding up the side of this grassy mountain and you can see the road down there that we came up Liz you finished the Abano pass <laughs> yeah <laughs> now we've got to do this bit <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Down there. <laughs> but we've been told this is the easy bit. Hard bit done. Right. Now that the Abano Pass is ticked off, we're heading back down the other side of the mountain to Omano on these epic, epic roads. Look at it down there. Come across the deepest water crossing so far. So it looks deep, but I used the big stick and it's about six inches, I think. Yeah. Roughly. Right, time for the deepest river crossing we've tried yet. Yeah. All of the boats got up off, and then I was a bit stuck, but luckily a little van came up behind us. I was like, jump in! I ended up just across someone's lap, like, led there. <laughs> but we got across together. And Lucy is dry. So after the Urbano Pass, you end up in this uh, canyon where the road is a bit mixed. Some of it's nice and smooth like here, and then other bit like this. It gets a bit more bumpy with some streams running through. But this is beautiful. coming down this canyon. It might not be so easy to do this coming back up. And of course, some of the traffic on this road will be cows. 
means we must be near the, near the village. Yeah. They really just don't give a shit who's coming, when or where. The first uh, civilization we've seen in a long time. 10 kilometers to go until we're in Amano. Lots of little muddy sections along this bit. <laughs> Slop. I think this is the last little climb before we get to Amalo. We're zigzagging up the side of another uh, cliff here. Five kilometers to go. These are the last few windy turns up to the lower part of Amalo. Oh. One! <laughs> One oh. kilometer. One kilometer. <laughs> this, Lucy, is Omaro! We made it! We made it to Omaro! Good work! Alright. So, after arriving in Omaro and having a nice dinner of khachapuri and soup and potatoes, we're heading towards <coughs> higher above Omaro to a camp spot on top of the hill that we've seen recommended by several adventure bikers. We've got eight kilometers to go. I think it'll take about half an hour and the last bit is up a steep hill. But we got this. We got this. We can do anything. We got this. <laughs> so the camp spot we want to go to is round this hill and the top of there. Yeah, it looks steep, but doable. This is kind of tricky because you're stuck in the rut of some tyres. <laughs> right, first gear. Keep the momentum going. I keep the weight at the front a bit. You keep balance, Lucy Lou. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay, that was not so easy. I hope we're okay behind us. Oh. Hanging on, hanging on. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> okay. We just caught the rut here. But we're good. Yeah, the front tyre came out this way and then the back didn't come up so it just slid along the rut. Okay. To put this hill in perspective, Lisa's Honda Transalp with all her luggage had just about enough power to get halfway up. Okay, because it's so steep and rutty here, I'll do the last bit and Lucy will walk. We've got Lucy back on. We will sum it together. Ready? Right, three, two, one. Join us again next time as we explore our private hilltop wild camp before riding the challenging 70 kilometers back down the Abano Pass and all the way south to Tbilisi for our final night in Georgia.